Well, the votes are in on whether I should use fabric or not. After tallying the votes, it looks like the use the fabric contingent has beat out the leave it bare. It was what, what I was kind of leaning towards anyway when I started building this. Surprisingly, one of the most common uh, suggestions made though was actually to cover the entire prop, the entire skeleton. I got a number of suggestions to use a very thin material and that way the actual form of the skeleton underneath the material will show through. I forget who uh, suggested it, but curtain shears seem to be like the thinnest material that I can think of. Assuming the monster bond adheres to this, that should be pretty good. What I'm going to do is actually go out to the garage and maybe just try some draping of the uh, curtain over the uh, sarcophagus lid just to see how it looks and maybe arrange it in some fashion that'll look good. I think the real key to this prop obviously is the head and the chest. There's the most detail in there so you want to try and capture that Well, anyway, something along those lines, I guess, is what people are suggesting. It was a suggestion to uh, wrap it sort of like toga fashion. Which I guess would be something along the lines of like this. And they also thought of the possibility, something like this, with this then as a cowl around the head or just a regular sheet pulled back I'm kind of partial to this look I think something along these lines maybe I can get it to tuck into these ribs and with the uh, the monster mud on it in this kind of a position I would imagine be able to work this fabric a little bit easier to tuck it in and make sure it shows through. It might actually really form pretty well over the skeleton. <clears throat> Sorry for all this thinking out loud here. Just not quite sure how I want to proceed with this. You know what? I like all three ideas. <laughs> oh Christ. <laughs> because I can see the fabric tucking into these different forms, like holding tightly to the skull and to the rib cage and making its way into the different crevices. I'm thinking what I just need to do is soak this in monster mud. And I'm thinking of using a pretty, um, a fairly thin mix, not too thick, so that I can get the details that I want and just trying it out because I think I'll have like opportunity to do that to move it around like say try this one and if it doesn't look right if I can't get the details that I'm hoping for then maybe trying with the cowl and then if that one doesn't work then going with like kind of the uh, draped toga effect I do think there needs to be something around the head whether it is the cowl or it is over the, the skull like this and you know what I'm just gonna forge ahead and try Got the monster mud made up. Gonna take the sheet, dunk it in, try to apply it and see how best it works out. Okay, done. Okay, the first attempt is gonna be over the top. Because that was actually the most suggested uh, way of doing it.
I don't think I'm liking that so much. I thought it would have looked good. I thought it had potential to look good. Maybe I just suck. I just think it's difficult to tell it's like even a rib cage and that there's like a skeleton underneath. Definitely get a sense that there's a body over there. All right, I'm gonna try to take it off. And I'm going to try and wrap the head as in a cowl now. So I think once this sets up, then I'll be able to attach the uh, sword. Okay, I'm gonna move this whole thing into the garage. I'm gonna set up the saw horses in the garage. And I'm gonna let it sit there for a couple of days. And I just set the sword on it just to see what it'll look like. And I think it'll be pretty good. And I think my biggest concern is that when I stand this thing up on edge, like the whole sheet just doesn't slide on down. So it's gonna stay in this position for quite a while until it uh, uh, cures. And hopefully all the folds and hanging over the bones and everything holds it in place. I also like rubbed the uh, fabric onto here. So hopefully the uh, monster mud adheres to uh, the base that it's sitting on. You know, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's uh, going to more than serve the purpose uh, that I built it for. And what? Only three, four weeks it took me to do this, right? <laughs> I should build another one. I think I'll be happy to move out of this crypt room. I was all excited going into it and <laughs> like running in quicksand. All right. If you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you like videos like this. That way you'll be notified right away when another one's posted. Okay. Thanks for watching. Oh, and let me know in the comments section below what you think about how I did the uh, the effigy with the uh, the sheet with the shear, the curtain shear. Uh, do you like it? Do you not? Do you think it would have been better some other way? I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts. Okay, now thanks for watching.